as the worldwide release of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth began, Square Enix confirmed that certain copies of the game sold in Japan and Asia had been mislabeled, with the data disks and play disks labels switched during production. Square Enix post an update on social media informing affected Final Fantasy VII Rebirth players on how to fix the issue. Given that Final Fantasy VII Rebirth requires over 145GB of storage space and that each PS5 disk can carry up to 100GB of data, it's reasonable that physical copies of Square Enix's latest entry would need two disks. According to Square Enix, an error in manufacturing result in the playtest and the data disk labels being reversed. Square Enix stated on its website that manufacturing was handled by Sony and said that the latter company had not yet commented on the situation. While this problem is currently reported to have happened in Japan and parts of Asia, it remains to be seen if Western markets were affected by this issue. However, Square Enix said that the contents of each disk remain intact. So to insert the disk in the correct order is that first, you have to insert the black disk, mark play disk into your PlayStation 5 console and install the requisite data. And then follow the on-screen instructions and once the installation is complete, insert the white disk, the one marked with data disk, to start the game. After the installation is complete, players will only ever need to use the disk labeled data disk from step 2 to play. And that's all for today's video, thank you so much for watching. Please press like and subscribe to our channel for more gaming news. See you in the next video. Bye!